Yes, come in. You want to see me? Yes, close the door, Margaret, will you please? Look, I'm going to ask a favor, and it's very, very important. Go ahead. I'm going to be gone for the rest of the day. I want you to cover for me. Sure. Where are you going? To Reno. I'll be back tonight. I guess this is the day, huh? Yes. My divorce is being heard. Oh, Eric. It was supposed to be heard tomorrow, but uh, it's been moved up. Now, look, you're the only person who knows this, and I want it to be kept that way. Well, it's going to be kept that way. You must be absolutely thrilled. Well, I can't deny there's a certain amount of anticipation. I just can't believe this whole thing is nearly over. Stephanie's been cooperative. Yeah, she has been so far, but things are starting to close in a bit. What do you mean? Ridge and Thorne discovered the identity of the woman I'll be marrying. Naturally, it was only a matter of time, but I, I had hoped to keep this under wraps until after the divorce is final. Did you say the woman you're going to be marrying? Yes, tonight, as soon as I get back. Oh, Eric, that's wonderful. That's so wonderful. Oh, she's a lucky lady. And I envy her. Thank you. That's very sweet of you to say so. But the fact is, I'm the one to be envied. This woman is very, very special. I just wish I could celebrate this more publicly. She deserves at least that, but I can't. God, I have hated all this cloak and dagger business. But the fact is, even at this late date, Stephanie cannot find out who she is until after the divorce. I'll see that she doesn't. That no one finds out where you are today. You can trust me on that. Yes, that sounds lovely. Then you can do it, Reverend. You can perform the marriage this evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be there. Stephanie. Oh, I bet you never thought you'd ever seen me again, didn't you? What could possibly bring me here? Do you want to venture against? No. Maybe it's something I found out, Brooke. Something you've been trying to hide. Like what? Like the weight gain? What could possibly have caused it? Or should I say, who could have caused it? And what is it that you and he intend to do about it? Just what are you getting at? You really did think you were going to get away with this, didn't you? Goodbye, Stephanie. No, I'm not leaving, Brooke, until you and I come to an understanding. About what? About my husband. How long did you think that you'd get away with this? Well, obviously till right after the marriage ceremony, isn't that right? Let me tell you something, Brooke. There isn't going to be any marriage ceremony. I would rather be dead. And I mean it. I would literally rather be dead than ever let you marry my husband. There isn't the remotest possibility you're not going to have him as long as I can draw breath. So what are you going to do about it? What are you and your legitimate child going to do about it? Well, you better get going. Now leave everything to me. Thank you, Margot. You're a godsend. By the way, where are you getting married? My uh, fiancé is setting up something at a chapel for tonight. Now listen. If Stephanie should call or if she Don't should stop. Don't worry. I'll handle Stephanie. Well, there really shouldn't be anything to handle. The fact is she's already signed the settlement and the stipulation. Today's uh, hearing is just a um, formality. Look, I got to get going. I've got a plane to catch. Thank you. Oh. Go on. Dad. We need to talk. Look, I'm, I'm really running here. So. It's, it's very important. All right, come in, come in. Margot, thank you. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. What is it, Thorne? 
The last thing that Ridge and I want is to get in the middle of this mess between you and Mother. That's the last thing any of us wants, your mother included. And yet that is exactly what's happened, Dad. Son, this whole thing is going to be resolved by the end of the week. Maybe for you. Look, I will talk to your mother when this whole thing is over. No, Dad. Thorn, listen to me. I want you to do this my way. It's too late. It's too late. What do you mean, it's too late? I told Mother about you and Brooke. When was this supposed to happen? Tomorrow night? What are you talking about? The marriage ceremony. I'm assuming that you have pushed Eric into getting married right after the divorce is final, probably tomorrow night. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. What, are we going to stand here and parrot one another all day? I know the divorce hearing is tomorrow, Brooke. Yes, I'm aware of that, too. I tell you what, Brooke. Why don't you just go ahead and call Eric now? You tell him that I know everything. You forewarn him so that he isn't surprised when he walks into the courtroom tomorrow. I'm going to eliminate you from his life like you have tried to eliminate me. Stephanie, I didn't take Eric away from you, and you know it. It was years of living with a manipulative, overbearing, conniving witch that caused him to want this divorce. This marriage was over long before I even met you. If that's really the truth, then why all of this secrecy? Why, Brooke? If you're really in love, why hide it in a closet? Why not bring it out in the open? Because you have enough hate and venom to cause so much trouble, we had to keep it a secret. <laughs> But you know something? I'm glad it's out in the open. Because I'm sick of cowering. I am sick of being intimidated and sick of stooping to your level. You disgust me, Stephanie. And you think I'm manipulative and conniving? I can't believe you. You got pregnant by my son, and within the same year, you're pregnant now by my husband. And you think I'm manipulative and conniving? Get out of my house. Oh, with pleasure. But you and I have a date, Brooke, in that courtroom tomorrow. You'd better be ready, because I certainly am going to be. You think it's tomorrow, Stephanie. Well, you're wrong. By tomorrow, I will be Mrs. Eric Forrester. <laughs> 